So in this video, we are going to learn how to send WhatsApp notification to new users registered on WordPress. Now suppose you are a business owner or you have created some kind of website using WordPress and you want that whenever a new user is registered on your WordPress site, you want to send a WhatsApp notification, a welcome message on WhatsApp to the same user. So let me tell you, you can actually automate this process as well. So the trigger of this automation will be getting a new user registered on our WordPress site. An action will be sending a WhatsApp notification, a WhatsApp message using Interact. So Interact is the API service of WhatsApp, now the official API service of WhatsApp using which you can send messages on WhatsApp to your customers and users. Now how you can set up this automation and connect WordPress with Interact? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as WordPress to interact. And then just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we are going to connect our WordPress site with Pavli Connect so that every time a new user registers on our WordPress site or they sign up, automatically we will get the details of that new registration, that new sign up on our WordPress site inside Pavli Connect. And after that, using Public Connect, we will send those details to Interact. And using Interact, we will send the WhatsApp message to the same user who has just now registered on our WordPress site. That too, automatically. So let's see how it is done. Now here in Trigger window, in Choose app for Search for WordPress. Just select it. And then in Trigger event from the dropdown, select the Trigger event as User Registers. This is it. Just select it. After selecting this trigger event, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. And now we are going to use this webhook URL to connect our WordPress site with Public Connect. And how you can do that? You just have to follow the help text given below over here. Now guys, to do so, first we'll go to our WordPress site. We'll just scroll down. And here you can see this plugins option over here. Now you have to basically install a plugin in your WordPress site named as WP Webhooks. Just go to this add new section, and then search for WP Webhooks over here. And then you just have to install the same plugin. After installing that plugin here under settings, you can see WP Webhooks. This option can be seen over here. So after installing the plugin, just go to this option of WP Webhooks. And here it is the page. Now after coming to this page, click on send data. And then after clicking on send data, here you can see a list of all the available webhook triggers. And here guys, we have to select user created as the event. Click on add webhook URL button and then give this webhook a name. For example, I would like to name it as Pabli WhatsApp. This is the name of the webhook URL. You can basically give any name according to your requirement. And then it is asking us webhook URL. Now here in this field of webhook URL, you have to paste the same webhook URL which Pabli Connect gave us. Just copy this webhook URL from here and then paste it over here. After this, just click on add for create user. And yes, now you can see that this same webhook URL has been added on our WordPress site. Here it is. Now, every time a new user will register on our WordPress site, automatically the details of that newly registered user will be received inside Public Connect and this automation workflow will be triggered. So guys, now you can see that in Public Connect, it is showing us waiting for webhook response. This means Public Connect is waiting to get the details or the response of a new user being registered. So let's do this. So in an incognito tab here, I have opened the registration page of my WordPress site. And this is it. And here we are going to enter the details of a dummy user. For example, let's enter a dummy name. This is the name of the user. Let's enter the email address or username. This is the username. Let's add a company, for example, Pabli. This is the name of the company. Also, let's add the email address over here. For example, this is the email address. This is it. 
let's add the password address mobile number so guys whatever mobile number the user is going to enter while registering on our wordpress site on the same mobile number we are going to send the whatsapp message so let's me add my mobile number to my whatsapp number over here the country is india so from the drop down let's select it here it is and the zip code so guys here at this registration page of my wordpress site we have entered the details of a new user now let's click on the submit button and yes here you can see that the user has been successfully registered this means this user has just now registered or signed up on my wordpress site now after this because we have connected our wordpress site with Pavli connect we will see the details of the same registration will be received inside Pavli connect and yes here in Pavli connect you can see that we have received the response and in this response you can see the details of the same user here you can see the same pin code which we have entered while registering the user this is the same mobile number which they have entered the same address the same company after this here you can see other details as well like here you can see the username of the user which, we, which they have registered then we can see the first name over here we will scroll down here you can see the customer as the role this is the email address and all the details so in this way guys you can see that all the details which we have entered over here while registering or all the details which the user is going to enter while registering on our WordPress site are now received inside Pavli Connect. Now guys, the step one of setting up this automation is completed. So let's move to step two. And in step two, we have to send all of these details to interact. And from interact, we are going to send the WhatsApp message, the welcome message on WhatsApp to these users. And to do so, just scroll down, come to our action window, and here in choose app, search for interact. Just select it. And then in action event from the drop down, select send WhatsApp template message as the action event. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here in this window, we have to connect our interact account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the secret key of our interact account. So now you must be thinking how you will get this secret key. Now to get it, just log into your interact account from the left sidebar, just hover on this options of settings and click on settings. After coming to the settings page, click on this developer settings option and here you can see the secret key of your interact account. Just copy this secret key from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And then just click on save. And as we click on save, we will see our interact account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, here it is asking us country code, phone number or full mobile number, full phone number. Now here guys, if you have a separate response for the country code and the mobile number of the customer, you can use these two options. So in this field, you can enter the country code either manually or you can map it. And in this field, you can enter the 10 digits mobile number, the WhatsApp number of the user. But just in case, if you have the full phone number of the user, like with the plus sign and country code and 10 digits mobile number, you can ignore these two fields and directly enter the full phone number of the user in this particular field. So guys, we have received the full phone number with, of, with country code from WordPress responses, as you can see over here. So we are going to map this full phone number in this field of full phone number. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the responses of a new user registration on WordPress, which we have received in the trigger window from WordPress site. So here guys, from this response from the drop down, select this response of full phone number. But here you will notice that the plus sign in this phone number is missing. So I will just manually enter the plus sign and then with the country code and the mobile number, here this number is complete. Now after this guys here, the next thing it asks us is the template code. Now here you must be thinking what is this template and how you can get this template code name. Now here to send WhatsApp messages using Interact, first we have to create a template of the message which we want to send to our users. And then after that, we have to get that template approved. Once the template get approved, we can use that template and using that template, we can send WhatsApp messages to a user. And to get the template code name, you just have to go to that particular template in your Interact account. Let me show you. We will go to Interact, we will go to Templates, and in this video, guys, we are going to use this template named as Website Welcome. Just select it, and yes, here it is. This is the template message. This is the kind of message which I want to send to my users. And here, after opening this template, in the URL section, you can see the template code name. 
Like here after template slash and before slash view, this is website welcome DK. This is the template code name of this particular template on my interact account. You just have to copy this template code name from here. Go to public connect and paste it over here. After entering template code name, the next thing it asks us is the language code. So here you can see this template. I've created this template in English language, just in English. So here I want to send the WhatsApp message in English. So we have to enter the language code of English language that is small en. Now here guys, you can in the help text, you can see some hyperlink, just click on it and you can see a list of all the languages which are supported in which you can create the template. So in whatever language you have created this template, you just have to enter the language code over here of that particular language which you want to use. Then in the next field, it is asking us header values. Now, if you want, you can add some kind of image, video or document in your template message in your WhatsApp message as well. So you just have to add some headers in the template message. And by after that, by selecting image videos or document in the header or text, you can basically send with these media files as well with the WhatsApp message. But after selecting, after creating this template, what will be the image, video or document? What will be that media file? What will be the header file? You just have to enter the URL, the link of that file over here in this field. So whatever file URL, file link you have entered over here, the same file will be sent with the WhatsApp message as headers. Right now, I haven't created a template in what interact with these media files with this header options. That's why we just don't have to enter the header value. But if you create a template with some image, video or document header file, you just have to enter the link, the URL which you want to send in that parameter. So right now we can ignore this field of header value and let's come to body variable value. Now here you must be thinking, what are these variables? So in this template message after hello, I wanted to mention the name of the newly registered user to whom I'm sending the WhatsApp message, but the name of the user will be keep on changing for every new message I send. So here guys, this means the name of the user is a variable. It's a dynamic text, which will be keep on changing for every new message. And to add these kind of dynamic text in our WhatsApp message here, guys, we have added these numbers, these variable in double curly braces and the text in place of these variables, you can enter or change those texts over here in this public and next field of body variable value. So here I want to mention the name of the person. So I have added a variable here. You I, in this message after this, I say, thank you for registering on our website. Your account has been successfully created. You can now explore all of our products and services. If you have any questions or need assistance, please reply to this message or contact us at, and here I wanted to mention my email address, my contact email address, and it can also be a variable. So I have added another field and here I wanted to mention the name of my business who is sending the message. So here I have added another variable. Now these two fields can be static, can be stagnant for, but for just for the explanation part, we have added multiple variables over here. So let's see how you can add text in place of these variables inside public connect. So here we have this first variable where we wanted to mention the name of the user. So in this field of body variable values, just click here and from the drop down from WordPress responses, select the response of the first name of the user. Let's search for it where it is. This is the post name response of post name and map it. So here we have entered the text, which we want to mention in place of this first variable. Now, after this, in this field of body variable value, add a comma. And now we can mention the text, which we want to enter in place of variable two. So in place of variable two, I want to mention the text as, for example, this is the email address, which I want to mention. And then after let's add a comma after this and in place of variable three, I wanted to mention the name as Pavli. So by adding comma separated values, you can actually create a sequence and then mention the respective variables over here in the same sequence as well. The same text, which you want to mention in place of these variables in the template. And you can basically add as many variables as you want in your WhatsApp template message, according to your requirement. After this, after entering the body variable values, the next thing it asks us is position of CTA button. Now here in interact while creating the WhatsApp message template, you also have an option to add some kind of buttons and you can add some dynamic links, some dynamic URLs to that button as well. And by clicking on that link in the WhatsApp message in the WhatsApp button, the user will be redirected to that, to that link, or you can also add some kind of call to action text message as well. So if you do so, if you add a call to action button with dynamic URL here in this drop down, you have an option to change the sequence or the position of it. Here we have two positions, zero and one, and you can change the position over here as well. And also guys here in this value for variable in dynamic URL, 
if you create a dynamic URL button over here, you can mention that what will be the dynamic URL which you want to enter. In this way, whatever URL you are going to enter in the dynamic URL section, with the same URL, the WhatsApp message will be sent. So we haven't added any kind of buttons, so we can just ignore this field for now, and then click on the Save and Send Test Request button. After clicking on Save and Send Test Request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the message values which we have entered over here and the template code, template whose code name we have entered over here with the same template and these same variable values, a WhatsApp message has been sent to the same user who has just now registered on our WordPress site. So guys, let's do this. Let's check our WhatsApp account. And yes, here you can see that just now a WhatsApp message has been sent to the same number which we have entered while registering on our WordPress site. So here this message says, hello dummy. So here you can see the same name of our user which has just now registered on our WordPress site. Thank you for registering on our website. Your account has been successfully created. You can now explore all the products and services. If you have any questions or need any assistance, please reply to this message or contact us at admin at So here you can see the same email address which we have entered over here in Pabli Connect in this body variable value. And then it says regards Pabli team, the same team name which we have entered over here. This means guys, the automation workflow which we have created using Pabli Connect is working perfectly fine. Now every time a new user sign up will register on our WordPress site, automatically we are going to send them a welcome message on WhatsApp using Interact. So guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation once. Once again, we will go to the incognito tab and make a new registration of a user. So this is a new tab. Let's enter the details of a new user. For example, test user. This is the name of the person. Okay, so here just now we have entered the details of a new user for the registration of our website. Just click on submit and the user has successfully registered or signed up on our site. And we will see as we sign up, a WhatsApp message will be sent to the same mobile number which they have entered while registering. So let's check the WhatsApp account. And yes guys, here you can see that on the same account which the user has entered while registering on our website, on the same mobile number, we have sent a WhatsApp message. And here you can see the same name, test which we have entered while registering for the website on our WordPress site. So this means we have tested this automation in real time and it is working absolutely fine. So not just these applications guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment out your suggestion, and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.